Did I miss something? How did the number of subscribers leap from under 100 to over 300 in literally a week? I cannot believe how fast this channel is growing, but please keep it going. I appreciate it so much, and I want you guys to remember that the 100 subscriber giveaway is still active, but the entry period ends Saturday, May 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern. All the information you need for that is in last week's video, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. All you have to do to win your choice of either of these celebrations boxes is leave a comment on last week's video. Leaving a comment on this week's video will not enter you into the giveaway, but, you know, please comment here too. Just know that it doesn't enter you into the giveaway. If you miss out though, don't worry, because there will be more giveaways in the future, so be sure to subscribe so you won't miss the next ones. 500 subscribers might be coming up a little too quick to do a giveaway, but for sure there will be a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers, so look forward to that. For this week's adventure though, since the previous two videos were a little short, I'm bringing out the Heavy Hitter Z Premium Collection. This thing is so big that it doesn't even fit in the camera frame. It's from Sam's Club, and I'll leave a link in the description below so you can find it. But I think at the moment it's out of stock, and understandably so. It has 14 booster packs, which is an insane amount, and it really means 14 times for me to struggle opening a booster pack. It also has some promo cards, which we'll look at in a second, and four coins for a total of 40 US dollars. Now this is under $3 per booster, which is a really good deal. The promo cards, though, aren't even a big draw, and understandably so. We have a Hollow Lucario, a Hollow Tyranitar, and then a standard Tyranitar and Lucario V. Now, they're still cool, but obviously the draw of a box like this is not these promo cards. It's not even these four coins up here, which we have Lucario, Raikou, Alolan Ninetales, and Tyranitar, of course. I really don't understand why they threw in Alolan Ninetales and Raikou, but if you guys have any idea why they did that, let me know below. We'll take one last look at these promo cards, and we do, of course, have a Jumbo card. This is a pretty cool Lucario V Jumbo card, so I do appreciate this one. It'll go in my collection with all of the other Jumbo cards. But what won't go in my collection is this code card. Now, let me try to fish all of these booster packs out of here. We should have four Astral Radiance, four Brilliant Stars, four Fusion Strike, and two Evolving Skies. Now, we'll give the Evolving Skies to Arceus and Piplup respectively, because they need to redeem themselves from previous times, and it'll allow us to save them for last, because of course, why wouldn't we save them for last? So now that I've fished all the booster packs out, let me get this guy out of the way. I can toss it into the void on the side of me, just like that, and bring our booster packs into frame and fix Piplup here. Now, I honestly don't know why they insist on giving four coins into this pack, so what do you guys think about that? They seem to be putting coins into check lane blisters, elite trainer boxes, and of course, premium collections, but is it really needed? Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. We'll start in no particular order with the brilliant stars, and get going. There are so many here that I don't want to keep your attention for too long. But we've got Energy, Weavile, Kindler, Cafe Master, Execute, Sneasel, Grimer, Bidoof, Electabuzz, and Rapid Strike Style Mustard and Boss's Orders. That's a good way to start. This is a cool Rapid Strike Style Mustard card. We'll put that aside, <laughs> but this is starting to raise an issue now. I have so many cards already on the Wall of Fame 
that I'm actually running out of space. What do you guys think I should do? Because I have no idea what to do. So leave a comment below if you have a suggestion on what I should do with the Wall of Fame. So we'll get into our fusion strike here, or attempt to, and I'm going to try something different with the code card. So that way I don't spoil it. Now I know I had a video before on how it can be spoiled, but we'll just avoid looking at the side that would spoil it. Seems pretty simple, right? This way we can all have our fun and not pull the cards out of frame. We've got Persian, Cook, Mag Cargo, Minin, Baltoy, Galarian Corsola, Quillfish, Vulpix, a nice reverse hollow Corvusquire, and Maractus. That's not the best booster. I mean, we started so well, so of course we're going to find some disappointment here and there. And I actually saw a lot of people comment on how they really didn't get much from this box, which is kind of surprising, because with 14 booster packs, you would definitely expect to get a good amount of hits. I mean, this is a heavy hitters box after all. Brother, this guy stinks! So we'll show our code card. Flip it over, take our four from the back. Now, out of these sets, ignoring Evolving Skies, what are some of your favorites? We've got Schoolboy, Primeape, Zarude, Voltorb, Pansage, Cufant, Gligar, Slugma, a Reverse Hollow Arcanine, and Melmetal! It's a pretty cool looking Melmetal. I think we actually opened one before like that. I'll take these guys and put them aside before getting into our next pack. And we'll do a Brilliant Stars this time. But like I was asking, ignoring Evolving Skies, because that would just be the easy answer, what are your favorite sets out of all of these? Personally, I don't like Fusion Strike that much. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I've always had bad luck with Fusion Strike. But, I don't know. It's just not a set I care for that much. Anyhow, we've got Energy, Morgrim, Claydol, Executor, Clink, Deadeen, Cubchu, Duskull, Farfetched, a Reverse Hollow Chimchar, and... Mewtwo! That's probably the best standard card we could get. Now, I know I didn't hide the code card that time. <laughs> That's on me. But I'll do a better job with this next pack of Brilliant Stars. I got a little too distracted asking you guys what your favorite uh, sets are. So I'll make sure to hide it this time. So no cheating, no peeking. It's a little harder to open this way when I'm trying to hide it on purpose. But we'll manage. We've got our code card. And we can begin. We've got energy. Friends and Galler. I like that. Team Yells Cheer. Chinchino. Corefish. Golette. Chimeco. Chimchar. Minchino. Lots of ch sounds. An Impidimp and... Luxray! So, nothing major in that one either. But, there's still so many packs to go, so I'm sure there's some good stuff left. And besides, we want to save the best for those two evolving skies. And I guess it helps, because the Wall of Fame, being so filled up, really doesn't need more cards on it. So we'll get our code card out of here. And then we can flip it over and do it normally. Or kind of normally. As normal as it gets. We've got Energy. Azelf. Shieldon. Uxi. Oshawott. Hoot Hoot. Poniard. Puchiana. Drifloon. A Reverse Hollow Nicket. And Registeel. Another great card to get as just a basic rare. 
we'll take all of those cards and keep clearing them aside so that way we don't clog up our space. And we'll go with another Astral Radiance. This is actually my favorite booster art on Astral Radiance because I really like Dialga. So having Origin Form Dialga on here is just the icing on the cake. The cherry on top. The code card in the back of the pack. We'll take our four from the back, slide it forward, and we've got Energy, Roxanne, Curlia, Grant, Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Ponita, Cricketot, a Switch Cart, and Glaceon. Glaceon's pretty cool. But still, we've only really had one hit out of all of these boosters. And maybe that gives merit to people saying that there wasn't really much in this pack. Now, I did get this direct from Sam's Club, so there's definitely no fears of anything being tampered with. But, there's no tampering with these code cards, that's for sure. They do know all. They can predict the future. But, this V-Star marker cannot. So we'll put that aside, and we've got Cleansing Gloves, Floatzel, Sigilyph, Baltoy, Snowrunt, Nosepass, Milsery, Deadeen, Corefish, and Drampa V! There we go! All we had to do was point out how we're not getting any hits, and boom, we get a hit. A nice Drampa V that we'll set aside in the back there as we put all the other cards aside. We'll pick up another fusion strike, and keep going. Now, maybe this just means that we're about to go crazy with all of the hits, since we've gotten maybe all of the bad packs out of the way, right? We'll take our four from the back to the front and get going with energy. Semipore, Metapod, Battle VIP Pass, Mudkip, Caterpie, Morpeko, Eevee, Shelder, a Reverse Hollow Basculin, and Cinderace V! <laughs> Alright, this is starting to get way better, but we're also starting to run out of room on the Wall of Fame. I don't have places for these cards anymore. I'm going to have to make space somehow, but please, if you guys have ideas, leave them in the comments below. Maybe we did get all of the bad luck out of the way early, which is how I would prefer to do it. I'd rather end strong than start strong. We've got a nice code card here, but an even nicer booster pack of cards. Taking our four from the back, we can see that we have energy. Roxanne, Curlia, Grant, Psyduck, Patil, Stantler, Bergmite, Hippopota, Hippopotas, sorry, Pseudo Wudo, and Starmie V! Alright, that's three in a row. Something's gotta give, something's not right. Our luck cannot be this good. But maybe it'll continue into Astral Radiance. We just have to hope the luck keeps going into Evolving Skies. We will slip our code card out of here. And see what we get. We, of course, have our V-Star marker, which doesn't tell you anything, despite what some people might say. We've also got Curlia, Wait and See Turbo, Shield On, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Hisuian Voltorb, Hisuian Basculin, Clammeow, Miss Magius, and Registeel again. But, like I said, the V-Star card marker doesn't indicate that you're getting anything good in the pack. Sometimes it's just a coincidence that you get a V-Card or a V-Star or a V-Max, but otherwise nothing's really guaranteed. The only thing that can really predict it is our friend the Code Card. We'll slide these out, 
and take our four from the back to the front. We once again have an unlimited supply of energy, charge a bug, judge, excadrill, chancy, galarian zigzagoon, mankey, clauncher, growlithe, starmie, and claydol. All right. Well, it looks like we're through 12 of our 14 boosters. It's time to see what these two have been cooking up in their Evolving Skies packs. So we will steal them from them, and I'll go with this guy first and save Rayquaza for last. Now, my knees are weak. The hitters were heavy. There's vomit on my cards already, but let's hope these won't be empty. We've got our code card. And I'm trying to be extra careful to not spoil anything. Everybody loves Evolving Skies, myself included. But I don't think I've gotten anything overly good. I... Did I mess up? Well, we've got Slacking, then we've got Energy. <laughs> I guess we'll go quickly through this. I'm so sorry. We've got Ribombi, Flaffy, Pyroar, Bergmite, Drowsy, Scraggy, Bagon, Woobat, and Eevee. Now, our holo was slacking, which I accidentally pulled to the front, but I swear I counted four. But we can roll back the tape and see what happened. Speaking of rolling it back... We can hope that this pack rolls us back into the luck streak. It is the last one. So all of our hopes and dreams just ride on this guy. I'll be even more careful this time as I slide out the code card. And now flip this over so we don't get any sort of peek at it. And I will count one, two, three, four. That's four. I've counted extra careful this time, and it's paid off. We've got Energy, Vigoroth, Lombre, Fletchender, Fletchling, Tentacool, Pikachu, C-Dot, Lillipup, Bagon, and Gigalith. Sadly, nothing in the Evolving Skies packs. Well, hey. Even though those might have been disappointing, we still got some great cards out of there. That's all the packs for today, and that was a lot. But please don't forget to enter into the 100 subscriber celebrations giveaway. The link is once again in the description below, but on your way there, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have some great adventures of your own, and I'll see you next time.